Autodesk has a proprietary format called DWF, which stands for Design Web Format. And as the name suggests, it helps you look at information on the internet. Initially, it was designed to display two-dimensional information, but in the last year or so, it was upgraded to display 3D information as well. So it's a viable alternative to VRML. If you've installed the extension into 3ds Max as a subscription customer, then you can see an additional option here in the file menu which says publish to DWF and this is really just a convenience. If you don't have this extension don't worry you can access the same functionality by going to export publish to DWF you have to select this as a file type and I'm just gonna put in a path here and type in the name of my project and save and then I will just accept all the defaults I'll leave show DWF in viewer checked so that I can see that right away in the client software now I've already installed it and it's called Autodesk design review in a few moments it's going to launch and show us this file now this client software used to be something that you had to pay for it was called DWF Composer, but quite recently they've decided to make this available free. And you can see the same world is shown here. I can orbit the model. Notice that the textures are there, although the lighting needs some work. I can access the camera view down here. Look through that camera again. And then there's an interesting navigation system here. I'd like to tour the building and I get this interface here. I'd like to move forward so I'll hold down the mouse right there and I can drag forward to go closer to that green target ball. That target ball's position is set depending on where I move this interface. I'll use look to look around and I find this a bit awkward to move around there's another way you can navigate up here with the full navigation wheel and you can go into walk mode and this is better because you just drag in whatever direction you want to go in and you'll move that way if you hold down the shift key you can then move up or down so it's very simple once you get a little bit of practice for a couple of minutes and so this is free, as I said, and it's a good way of sharing your three-dimensional design information with other people. It does require, however, that they download this client software in order to view your model.